What could this worth be? Let's get started. The Delvalle basketball boys dominated the San Diego Eagles with a tremendous performance by Michael Atkins, scoring 13 points, with a final score of 71-49 Delvalle. The Lady Conquistadors faced off against the Parkland Matadors with an outstanding performance from Taylor Acosta, edging out their close win with a score of 55 to 60. The boys wrestling team squared off against the Ballard Highlanders in a friendly duel, demolishing them with a score of 45 to 9. Come on, Caesar! Break them down, break them down! Uh, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching Sports Beat. I love country music. Man, country music is too mainstream. It's all about the alternative. What's that? Check out this segment with Valerian made about the band called Rivati. There are many talented musicians in El Paso, Texas. Rivati is one trying to break through. Rivati usually plays for an older audience. Oh, you get more feedback, good and bad, so it's really cool. It's good. The band gives it their all once on stage. We feel rejuvenated after each show. And um, it just feels good playing with, with all my brethren. And I hope they feel the same way. We first found Alex the drummer. Uh, in turn, he introduced us to Vladimir, the other guitarist. And then from that point, we met Stevie Ray, the singer. And ever since then, we've been jamming from since March of this year. So it's been like around eight, nine months. Um, well, as far as recognition, we've in been interviewed by Kelly Q. We've appeared at What's Up Magazine. Uh, we have photos with After Five Magazine and What's Up Magazine. One of her body's most memorable shows was at Speaking Rock. I'm Speaking Rock because of the crowd, the stage, and the lights. It was just amazing. Um, you can find us on Facebook or Twitter at Rivati EP. Hello, we are Rivati. And I'm Stevie Ray. Michael. Alex. Andy. And I'm Vlad, signing off. Hey, I want to take my girlfriend out to a movie, but I don't know what to watch. Hmm, well, here's Monica and Carla with some reviews. There was a lot of cool movies out recently. Here are some of the most watched. My family's in danger, I need your help. The Twilight fans have been waiting for the end of the series to come out. In the movie, the Cullen family fight against vulture vampires. In the end, it didn't disappoint. My rating for this movie is 3 out of 5 stars. What's going on? Red Dawn is an action war film about a Russian-backed North Korean invasion of the United States. If you're seeing this broadcast, you are in a part of the country no longer controlled by the government of the United States. Fight. This movie is action-packed and a lot of fun. I give this movie a 3 out of 5 stars. Ralph abandoned his game. 
Where's the wrecking guy? Video game villain Wreck-It Ralph wants to change his life and become good. To achieve his goal, he travels around the video game universe in search of a gold medal. Everything changes. I give this great family movie a 4 out of 5 stars. Actions of Iran have shocked the civilized world. Argo tells the true story of a CIA agent recovering American hostages from war-torn Iran in the 1970s. This is a great movie for history buffs and spy lovers. It deserves a 4 out of 5 stars. We hope you enjoyed these movie reviews. For Conquest Journal, this is Monica. And I'm Carla. Signing off. December 21st, 2012. No, today's December 7th, 2012. 14 more days. For what? For the end of the world. Do you really believe in that? Yeah, I read it online, and you know, everything on the internet is true. Don't believe everything you see on the internet, you know. See what Eddie has to show you. Do you believe the world is going to end? It's up to you to decide whether you believe in all the rumors and theories. Many believe the world won't end, so then why is it still a big deal in society? Hey man. Do you believe the world is going to end on December 21st? No. Nah, I don't believe it because it's still... Um well, actually, if it, happen, it didn't happen right now, well, I don't think it's going to happen later. Global warming is just all of a sudden going to kill us one day? Yup, for yeah. sure. Alright, man. <laughs> one bit. Yeah. We're just going to go to vacation on December 21st and that's it? Yeah, come back. What's happening December 21st? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? No. Vacation, anything else? Oh, yeah, vacation, anything yeah, else? Christmas. The story of the planet alignment was started by the Nibiru, which stated that there was a discovered planet headed for Earth, but NASA proves otherwise. The planets are not planned to be aligned for a long time. It'll come to an explosion. An explosion? And everyone's gonna die. That's it. Hmm. I think maybe we're gonna burn. Um. It blew up. You think it's gonna blow up? Whoa. I'm just kidding, guys. So, for those of you worried about the end, relax. Because nobody can protect the future. I'm Eddie. Signing off. Dude, I love Halo 4. So do I, man. Black Ops 2 is a good game, too, though. That game's pretty awesome, but check this quick review about the hottest recent games. Sweet, let's take a look, then. Are you a gamer? If so, then check out these game reviews. Halo 4 is one of the most recent games that has come out and is a direct continuation to the Halo trilogy. It has very good graphics and the gameplay is very enjoyable. We give it a 5 out of 5 stars, and a student survey gave it a 4.2. Halo 4 is definitely worth the purchase. Battlefield 3 is the third installment to the Battlefield series, not including Bad Company. It features stunning graphics and destruction, powered by the Frostbite 2 engine. It also features vehicles such as jets, tanks, and some of the largest scale maps in any multiplayer game. We give it a 5 out of 5 stars, while the student survey gave it a 3.9 stars. Assassin's Creed 3 is mainly about American history and the protagonist Connors struggled to save his people from British control. Throughout the game, Connor participates in historical events such as the Boston Tea Party. We'd give this game a 4 out of 5 stars, while the student survey gives it a 4.2. Uh, best we get out of here. Gears of War 3 is a third person shooter game and came out last year, but it still remains one of the top games for Xbox. It features intense firefights and brutality. We give this game a 5 out of 5 stars, while the student survey gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. If you like blood and gore, this game is perfect for you. Black Ops 2 is the most recent game to the Call of Duty series, and the second installment to the Black Ops story. Its graphics are pretty good and the gameplay is fast paced, but we gave this game a 3.5 out of 5 stars, while the student survey gave it a 4.1 out of 5 stars. If you like Call of Duty, then you should get this game. Remember, these video games are just video games, they're not real. I'm Nathan, reporting for Conquest Jump. I'm Nick, signing off. Well, well, that's, that's our, our show. show. I'm, I'm Jesse. Jesse. No, I'm Jesse. No, I'm Jesse. Well, we're, we're Jesse. Jesse. Bye. Dude, I love Halo 4. So do I, man. But Gears of War 3 is a game, too. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yes, yeah, see. Which one? I heard he climbed Mount Everest and flew into space from the space. <laughs> <laughs> it won't go down. It won't go down. <laughs> it's going. <laughs>